The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. Here comes the monster of all monsters. Since his return, Strowman has been on a path of destruction. Expect the worst because the monster is about to be unleashed. WWE Universe, brace for impact. A Town. This young man is as cocky as the day is long, but he backs it up every night. The youngest Money in the Bank winner and also the youngest superstar to fail cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. Shut up, Saxton. Money in the Bank was an anchor, an albatross, and Austin Theory is better at having gotten rid of it. Introducing the challenger from Shirls Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Brock. And his opponent, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, Austin Theory! Winning the United States Championship etches your name with legendary company. This is all for the right to call yourself the United States Champion. To put yourself in the echelon, John Cena, Ricky Steamboat, Steve Austin, some of the greats of all time. Over 40 plus years of history for the United States Championship, and a new chapter is written tonight. Fighting back by the counter. Jumping near breaker. Producing a trampoline. Uh oh, look at this. He just tossed the leg. Just got thrown around like a sack of you know what. Braun Strowman, truly a monster among men. How do you deal with an opponent who has destructive intentions like Braun? You've got to be agile. Braun can't destroy you if he can't catch you. So stay moving. Don't make yourself an easy target. Only attack when the opportunity is right.
point in the match, that could have gone either way. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Taking flight. That one fails to land. It's the mark. Oh, the monster among men. Look at the power. Good oh, God. The champ taking their share of hits now. He's taking this to the floor now. And he goes into the ring. Ducked underneath into a German suplex. Escapes in a nick of time. He'll head to the ring. What a knockout punch. Oh, man. Tying up their opponent. Patella brain buster. I've asked around the locker room, and a lot of people believe that this rivalry has gone past the point of no return. There's absolutely no love lost between these superstars, and I don't imagine things settling down anytime ever. Oh, that presentation of power there. I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. Strowman wasn't having that. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Trap the arm. Neckbreaker. So smooth. Up and over, all the way to the floor. Looks like they do not want them inside the ring anymore. Time to venture outside the ropes. Look out. Oh. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. And did you hear the impact of that? Oh, right to the kidneys. And that was an efficient form of offense for that move. Strowman able to get out of the way. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. And Theory is keeping the match at his pace. This is how you counter an evil SOB like Strowman. Only attack when you have a clear opening. in a point where these superstars must be hurt, must be vulnerable. And who's going to find a way to capitalize on that vulnerability? Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT! Oh, he went low. The humanity covered by the champ. Here is your winner, and still, WWE Universe.
Austin Theory. Into this match with a big win under his belt. Wow. We just saw a monster player strike right before our very 